We've got three ambassadors at Prescott today, believe it or not. We've got Dom Kimea from uh, the repair shop. We've got Sarah Crabtree, who you would have seen in the past on uh, Matheson's amazing auction site. And we've got Mark Allen, who you often see on Antiques Roadshow. All these programs I watch diligently. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Very good. <laughs> Which is your favourite? Uh, yours is definitely. <laughs> I knew he'd be a bit biased. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, guys, about the Association of Heritage Engineers. What's it all about, I mean, Dom? That's the reason why we're all here, we're ambassadors of it. I think for myself, it's um, I enjoy inspiring kids and people to get in to making stuff like this yes. and anything yeah. we can do really to sort of showcase the amazing people that build these cars and to encourage people to you know get into getting an apprenticeship yeah. you can there's other options you don't have to go through this school and university route there are other options out there for a career in doing something like this and the great thing, Sarah, is to encourage manufacturers to make things that can be mended rather than just have to be chucked away. Absolutely. Make everything sustainable. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's awful having... I mean, I've got so many bits of kit that I don't use and they just go in the bin. Not good. That's a real shame, yeah. But your career has taken off since you leaving Matthewson's. It certainly has, yeah, which is a little bit strange. Um, but, yeah, so that's really good. And it's great that I've being able to stay within the industry, yeah. within the auction industry, within the classic industry, and to be able to use my profile really to encourage not just youngsters, but also hopefully females, other females into the industry, because there's not enough females. But what you're doing is an online auction house. That's right, yeah, so I'm running, running an online auction house, Evoke Classics. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic, I'm having a great time, and then on my days off, I get to come to places like this. I know. <laughs> wow, I mean, what a life. Come but on. are you doing a lot for the association? Yes, I try to do as much as possible. I speak to people on a weekly basis. People contact me, they'll email me. I get girls emailing me saying, I'm really wanting to do this. Is there any way that you, you know how I can get into that? You know, I want to be a mechanic, I want to do this, I want to learn how to do retrimming, and how can I do that? Do you know anybody that I can contact? So that's great that girls and youngsters are coming to me and asking yeah, me yeah. for advice. And, and I, I was going to say, butting in there, mm. that's massively inspirational. If you go up to the workshops of Brooklands, for instance, you'll see that, you know, I was up there recently, that literally 50% of the apprentices were girls. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and it was, yeah. you know, incredible yeah. to, to, yeah. to see that. And uh, yeah, I think you two have, have nailed it. Sustainable, basically, transferable yeah. skills. Yeah. You know, talking to youngsters, 20 year old driving that machine behind us i am more than old enough more than old enough to be his father and i am going to be putting my trust in him later yes. to take me up that hill and do you know i'm not in the slightest bit worried about take out special insurance you'll be all right yeah i will yeah. <laughs> sign that disclaimer right yeah, there. yeah absolutely uh, but um, mark your other life is about collecting and collecting funny things yeah i mean it's funny because you know in a way people think oh antiques roadshow he deals in antiques but i'm what what they call a miscellaneous specialist so you know i go across the board really jack of all trades master of none but my personal interests are mechanical things cars i have a few old cars i love guitars i like making things repairing things and so lots of those skills are very transferable art crosses over with design yeah. Um, oh, and you only yeah. have to go into the Bugatti Museum here and look at the history of the, the Bugatti yeah. family and look at the way everything from the mascot on the front to the dial inside crosses all of those kind of yeah. uh, those skills. And how art was connected with engineering because it was a very artistic family. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's something that people forget really. You can be a scientist and you can be an artist. Uh, and we encourage all of those things with AOHE, you know, that, that, that skill set which crosses all of those bridges. What I've always wondered about Antiques Roadshow, do all of you turn up just in case something appropriate comes along and half the time you're not needed? Or do, <laughs> or do, or do they choose the things to look at according to the guys, the experts on hand? Yeah, well, you know, on any normal Antiques Roadshow, and it has been different over the pandemic, we have been having to invite the items in, but on any normal Antiques Roadshow, we'll, we'll have anywhere between two and five 
5,000 people turn up, they queue up, and we sit there and we relentlessly work at our tables all day. So I will see hundreds of items on an Antiques Roadshow day, and I will pull maybe a few out, I might, might film two or three, yeah. uh, and really when it comes down to it, the whole ethic of the show is spontaneity. I keep meaning to bring my watch, which was made in 1680, along to the Antiques Roadshow, but I can't, I, I'm not a good at queuing. <laughs> well, maybe I can get you a bit of a kind of a... a Queue jumping. jumping pass there, yeah. <laughs> Come and see me afterwards. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, your life with Matthewson's was interesting. D did you find cameras and TV people milling around just got in the way, or did it add to the fun for you? They sometimes did get in the way, and fortunately the crew was so fabulous that if they were getting in my way, I would just go, excuse me, can you just clear off? And they would go, okay, and they would go. <laughs> I wish we could say that. Because, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's different because at the end of the day, they were filming me doing a job, yeah. and I still had that job to do. Every five weeks, there was an auction yeah. to yeah. run and it could become quite stressful and although that was quite good to capture on camera me with Bit steam stressed. coming out yeah. of my ears yes. um it, jeopardy you yeah, always need a bit of jeopardy, yeah, a bit of jeopardy yeah. Yeah. yeah um but all in all the, the crew were fabulous and they all remain really close friends so it's that's been a brilliant fun. success hasn't yeah. it and does it continue to be even in your absence um i don't know. I, of course it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. But um, I'm, I don't watch it. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> and Dom, your speciality is metalwork. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of. I do a lot of metal work on the repair shop and in my own workshop for my yeah. YouTube channel, but I do other things as well, like slime writing and painting. I kind of, a bit of a jack of all trades as well, I kind of get involved with being at the repair shop. We don't know what's coming in next, so we quite often have to think outside the box and turn our hand to something that we're not completely, you know, it's, it, it, we get caught off guard quite often, so. Well, it's a great thing you're doing. I, um, I, th I think it's, the sadness has been how many young people have been encouraged to go to university and learn, you know, silly subjects, um, and then have difficulty getting jobs. Whereas they have a much more fulfilling life if they got a, an apprenticeship and uh, started making things or doing things. So well done, all of you, and many thanks. And we really hope you enjoy all these ancient vehicles at Prescott. How can we not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And we'll we'll watch with interest as you get the ride up the hill in the Romano uh, and watch your petrified faces. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, thank you. But it's lovely to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks very much indeed.